So let us derive the first kinematic equation of motion using graphical method. For that, let us consider a graph in which the velocity is taken along the y axis like this and time is taken along the x axis. So we usually call this as velocity time graph. If I say velocity time graph, VT graph, V is taken along Y axis and time is along the X axis. That's the way we usually take the graph. Suppose if it is ST graph, that is displacement time graph, then as displacement is along, taken along the Y axis and time along the X axis. Okay. Now, back to the derivation. For the uniform motion of a body or the body moving with uniform motion, uniform motion means the acceleration of the body is constant. The plot will be a straight line inclined with the x-axis like this. The, actually, this graph is inclined to both the axes. So, anyway, it will be a straight line. And we have, let's take this time t1 that is at the origin the time will be zero suppose we have at this point after a particular time t2 let's take t2 the time will be t okay now initially the velocity will be we usually take that as v0 v0 that means this length is v0 this point is v0 this point represents the velocity the initial velocity and that means this length is equal to v0 and after the time t2 or after the time t this length will be let's say v the final velocity v v0 is the initial velocity initial velocity that means the velocity at time t equal to 0 that is t1 equal to 0 and v is the final velocity final velocity that means when t2 is equal to let's say some time t now we know the fact that for a uniform for uniform motion or at the motion in which acceleration is constant, the slope of the velocity time graph, the slope will, slope is equal to gives the acceleration. We know this fact. Slope of the velocity time graph gives acceleration, let's say a. Now, how will you find the slope? For that, let us consider a triangle like this, a right angle triangle, let's say a b c this angle equal to theta see if i have a graph like this and this is the straight line this is the plot if i extend that graph to the x-axis see this angle is the graph or the, this angle theta is the angle made by the graph with the x-axis and that angle is same here also theta since this line AB is parallel to the x-axis. So actually this theta is the angle made by the graph with the x-axis. So slope means tangent of this angle tan theta. Slope is the tangent of that angle made by the graph with the x-axis that is equal to we know it is acceleration a now from this triangle abc you know uh, tan theta is the opposite side tan theta is always opposite side by the adjacent side so bc divided by a that is equal to a now if you look at the length bc bc is same as that of let's say ad that is this length AD equal to BC. This AD equal to BC. 
but you know ad is equal to this will be v minus v0 this whole line minus v0 v minus v0 therefore v is equal to v minus v0 divided by now if you look at ab ab is this length which is equal to that is this length is the ab which is equal to t clear so t equal to acceleration a and you can take this t to the right p minus v0 equal to a t or you can write this taking this v0 to the right so v equal to v0 plus a t so this is the first kinematic equation of motion we derived that from the uh, velocity time graph.